so what's going on guys make sure we drag them back again with yet another tech video for you guys and in this video we're going to be looking at the autobox commuter series yes the commuter series has been around for many many years in fact the very first autobox case which i used was the autobox commuter believe it or not for the bow 9900 Yes, the BlackBerry Bow 9900 and at that time there wasn't any official Autobox dealers in Malaysia. So honestly, it was one of the hardest cases to ever find. I used to watch it on YouTube back then when I didn't have the YouTube channel. And honestly, my experience with the commuter series wasn't that good because at that time, the Autobox commuter series, in fact, the rubber portion wasn't that firm. I should say as firm as I wanted it to be, it was very, very soft and um, it used to actually melt in the heat. So it wasn't that good but however now they've actually improved it in this version of the autobox symmetry so a little bonus for my malaysian viewers i actually teamed up with autobox malaysia to offer you a very very special deal a promo i should say with the purchase of any autobox cases you're entitled for purchase with purchase deal of the autobox alpha and amplify series glass protectors and honestly those glass protectors are really really good trust me i've actually used it a full year with just one glass protector and I only had scratches even though I dropped my phone down the stairs, it didn't break. Because to be honest, their glass protectors are actually more durable than the average glass protector. In fact, they are ranked number 2 in terms of all the other brands like Zag, like Belkin and so on and so forth. I would suggest getting the Amplify tempered glass protector because the Amplify provides 5 times more drop protection and shatter resistance as compared to the Alpha glass. But however, the Alpha glass is also pretty good. And the difference between the Alpha Glass and the Amplify Glass is that the Amplify Glass is actually made in partnership with Corning so you can expect that certain level of quality with their Tempered Glass Inventors. And if you're interested in that promo, do DM me on Instagram at droidtech underscore official. So before we begin the unboxing and look at the commuter series case from Autobox, a sub to the channel will definitely be awesome and also do share with your friends and family and it will greatly support this channel. Alright, so without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and look at the Autobox symmetry for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Alright guys, so I'm back. As you can see, I have my 12 Pro Max here in gold. So my go-to case for the past couple of days has been the official leather case from Apple. And honestly, I am loving the case. And in my opinion, I think that the official leather cases from Apple is very slick and elegant. But the reason for this video is because we are looking for more than just sleek and stylish. That's where the Autobox Commuter series comes in. So in my opinion, the Autobox Commuter is the middle child. If you know, they actually have one more series called the React series. So that comes in at the cheapest Autobox case ever made at 119 ringgit. And then there is the Symmetry series which I covered in a couple of videos back. And that retails at 189 ringgit. And the Commuter series, even though it retails at 149 ringgit is in fact i think a very good middle case for people who do not want to spend 189 ringgit on the autobox symmetry this provides almost the defender level of drop protection with the pot covers and so on and so forth and yet it is also very protective so they have actually perfected the tpu material so it will not turn sticky even though using for a long period of time all right so on the top we get autobox branding the logo as well the commuter series you can see right here so on the bottom you can see drop plus so it's also military standard they have moved away from the auto box drop protection so i think that's a good step in the right direction as well so this is three times tested military standard so you can see lasting antimicrobial case protection as one of my subscribers actually did mention is that they do not guarantee that this antimicrobial protection actually protects you from viruses so I mean, what's the point of even putting that? It's just marketing fluff. So on the bottom, you can see wireless charging compatible and it's for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I do have the iPhone 12 Pro Max with me. So it's also 5G compatible. So it does not interfere with any of the 5G connectivity. So on the back, let's take a look. So you can see pocket friendly design, secure grip, dual layer protection and pop protection. This is where I said that it's very reminiscent of the Autobox Defender series. All right, so let's take the case out. I've actually opened it to take a peek because I wanted to see what comes in the packaging to prepare for this video. So anyway, the case comes out and we have some warranty information and so on and so forth. Is there any more stuff? Yes, there is uh, one more piece of paper. All right, that's about it in the packaging. Put that to the side. All right, so you can see the first piece of paper, 5G compatible. So this is your Autobox Global Limited Warranty. So their warranty is pretty good, especially in Malaysia. Um, 
they give you a replacement pretty easily as well i mean if your case ever gets split apart or something like that all right let's take a look at the case itself so you can see a very big cutout on the back for your triple lens setup you can see a bit of a tpu coming out from the edges here you can see auto box branding this is in blue color however they do have it in black i wish i got the black one because i've used this as my daily case but i have the blue one so i it doesn't match my go iphone all right so let's take a look around auto box branding is what i mentioned all right so take a look at the left side you can see the cutout for the mute and ring toggle as well as your volume up and down buttons you can see a piece of uh, plastic as well on the bottom this is where your pot cover is so i'm not sure many people like the pot cover but i do like the pot cover because i do not really use the lightning pot i use more wireless charging the pot protector is there for good measure to protect the dust and so on and so far you can see the cutouts for your mic as well as your speaker grill on the right side nothing else except for your power button the top empty all right let's take a look at the inside of the case this is where all the protection happens all right so you can see right here the tpu border as well you can see there are air pockets on each side let me get there to focus so there are air pockets on each side of the case as well as couple in the middle near the buttons so overall the tactility of the buttons are pretty good as usual because this is actually a tpu case it's pretty soft so let's take a look at the bottom as well so this case offers in fact a lot of protection more protection in fact especially when you talk about your phone being in contact with the case because this is soft so whenever you drop your phone this will actually protect the frame of your phone from getting dented or bent of course this is soft so yes there will definitely be dust entering the corners so you do have to clean your phone once in a while i mean it's the hygienic thing to do in this era is actually to clean your phone once in a while all right so let's install the phone in the case so i do like to take this first part off so you can see this is the hard polycarbonate frame right here and this is the soft TPU. Alright guys, so installing your phone in the case is very simple. So you can just put it in right here. Just like that. Anyway, works. And now the tricky part is to get the hard portion of this uh, case in. So I do like to start with the bottom. That's where the pop protector is so I can take it out. Okay, let me just adjust it. Take it out. So it's not the easiest thing to do. Yes, okay. Once this is out, it's very easy to install. So you just press around the corners just like that so you can install your pot protector back once you have actually installed the rest of the case in all right so let's hear the buttons very responsive and tactile volume buttons as well a bit mushy on the volume buttons but the power button is fine all right let's take a look at the cutout for the mute and ring toggle so it's uh, very spot on okay so you can see the cutout for the camera very nice and big so it doesn't block any of the functionality and you can see this uh, black ring around to prevent flashback so it's pretty good for protector you can see the cutouts on the bottom as well line up perfectly so this has been around for a while so i'm sure they got it perfected in terms of the cutouts so this is a very durable material okay another thing i forgot to mention is that the back is actually made of a rough texture very rough and durable so you're not going to get fingerprints you're not going to get scratches so easily i think you will get dents rather than scratches first so you do not have to worry about scratching this thing at all all right so you can see tpu on the top tpu on the sides very nice but uh, however this is a bit loose but for my experience i did not have any problems with it so i think it's a good thing and the bottom of course is stiff because it's held in by this plastic frame so overall i think the commuter at uh, 149 ringgit is a very very good deal all right so that concludes this video i hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and i'll see you guys in the next video